Hello and welcome. Hi, I'm Laura, a Canva creator and Canva creator ambassador for the UK. And in this video today, we're going to be looking at a couple of awesome Canva features. They're elements, they are grids and frames. I love the grids and frames in Canva, and I just want to show you how easy and simple it is to create really good looking graphics using these very, very quickly. Okay, so I'm going to go over to my screen and we are looking at my Canva dashboard. So first of all, we need a, um, a template. So we are gonna go for just a Facebook size template. Um, you can either pick a blank one or you can use the template itself. I've picked template, but I'm actually thinking I'm just going to delete everything from it. So I have got a blank one. Okay, so how do we add a grid into this awesome Facebook size? So we want to go over to elements on your left. And we just type in grid, and it will bring up these awesome grids. Each one of these white cloud, blue sky, green hills, you can add one of three things into images, videos and color. Uh, if you scroll down, you get more and more blocks in each one. You can go as far as you want, all different sizes and shapes. I'm going to stay closer up to the top and I'm going to show you uh, three by three. Let's see if we can find the three. They get more as you go down, so they get bigger and bigger and bigger. Here we go. I'm going to select this one. Okay, so what do we do now? I want to add some images into this. I want to add some text. I want to use this as a graphic for my business. What I like to do is give them a little bit of space around the edge. So I'm just dragging in the white dot just a little bit and then centralizing it to give myself a border around the edge. I can also click on this, go up to my spacing bar and give each individual one some space. So if I wanted to write text underneath them, I can. I'm going to have this like that, so it's a smaller space between. So I'm clicking on the background and I'm going to change this to a brand color, one of my brand colors. And I want to add some photos so I can either go to my uploads and add in photos that I've already uploaded of my products or my services. Or I can type in anything into the photo bar and start selecting some images. So I'm gonna say we're running a virtual assistant business. So I'm adding in some business type um, computers, notebooks, that type of uh, flat lay. There's one with pink flowers. We'll add another one with pink flowers in the top corner. There's a clipboard. So we can add these in three clipboards, they're all slightly different variations. Um, we can add these in to our grid. It's literally drag and drop. You click on the image, it puts into your template and you drag it into the frame. Double click on your image. So for example, uh, we want to move where this clipboard is centered within the actual frame. Double click on it, click on it, and you can then drag the image a little bit, you can give it a little bit of movement so I can then centralize the focal point. Now I've added all these images, I've left this last one blank in the middle. I don't really want an image in this last one, I want to be able to put some text into this one to promote my services. So what I'm going to do is I'm clicking on this middle one and you can see there's a blue square has appeared around it. So I have literally selected this one in the middle. I'm going over to the color box and I'm making it the same color as the background. And now I've got a box in the center where I can add my logo, I can add some information, I can add anything about my services with a text box. So I've clicked T on your keyboard, will give you a text box. Or you can go over here to text, and then you have your header, your subheader, and your body font text sizes here. So I can add in um, 
So if we say, for example, we are Canva beginners class, for example, say so we're, we're creating a Canva beginners class in the center. I'm gonna bring the words together a little bit more, just reduce that line spacing. And I'm gonna change the font. No, that's adding. Select my text box. And then beginner's class, we want it. Yeah, that's a bit chunky, that font. I, that one's better. There we go. So dependent on your font does very much depend on your line spacing as well. So I'm just gonna open them out a bit centralize them and then i'm gonna give them there we go literally what was that two minutes i've added in my grid chucked in a load of my images that i want to use colored that middle box and then put my text on top and that is as simple as it is and you can do this with any of these grids. There's some really lovely ones in here, different styles and sizes. I could, I've added this one in, it's all different sizes. If I select the big one here, change it to the background color, I've now got a space to add in my text. Give it a little bit of room around the outside and I've got these awesome photos. I can do that with any of these. I can change all three down the center the same color. So I've just got two lines either side for my images. But yeah, just a super quick um, overview, how to use grids to create a really awesome um, graphic in Canva. But we can also add frames. I love frames. I'm going to just create a blank page in the same design. And I'm going to go for frames in the element section. These are awesome, definitely check these out. Always starts with a circle, and then you have a little flowery pattern and a square with rounded corners, very common shapes to use, but scroll down because you have so many. You've got computer screens, iPhones, laptops, pads, funny swooshes, triangles, circles. Keep going, you've got the standard font letters there, which I've always loved. Then you tend to get ones with a color around the outside a jigsaw puzzle piece, a star, other ones that have got additional elements attached to them, ones that have got color lines around them and different frames, but keep scrolling because there are new ones added all the time. And you can use any of these within your templates. I think if not, all of them are free to use. So they're available in the free Canva account. Keep scrolling, you have some really amazing ones, things like this. I mean, this is gorgeous, the leaf pattern around it. You can add a photo into this. But you also have, if we keep going, they're quite far down, some more letter fonts. Here we go. You have these awesome letters. They're not in alphabetical order, unfortunately, and some are uppercase and some are lowercase. But they are brilliant. So I wonder if I can just go L A uh, U R A. Now you'll notice I've just spelled my name out, but I've added them all in one hit. Rather than one, resize it, and then add the other, resize it. Add all of your letters together on top of each other. Click off of the page, then highlight the whole lot because it keeps them grouped together. Then you can resize the whole lot together. It just makes it so much easier. And then if you drag your letters out, spell your word, L-A-U-R-A. -A. I've not put them in proper height order because I'm gonna drag my cursor across them all again. Go to position and click tidy. And it's put them all in a lovely line for me. They're still overlapping, so they're still a bit too big. I will just reduce the size of them. Just spread them out a bit. Highlight them, position, tidy. And then you see you start to get this really lovely look. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the background to black because I'm going to show you, you can add photos into these. Old foil, rose foil, silver, however you want, but they look lovely. If you click and drag into each one, you have this really gorgeous effect. So you could do this with your business name, you could do this with your name, for example, like I have, but you get this really beautiful gold foil effect. So you can drag any photo, any video, any color into these. Colors you probably wouldn't wanna use because you can just use a normal font and change the color. But being able to add videos and images into these shapes is fantastic. Um, and it just really makes them look really, really effective. So that is it for this video. That's what I wanted to show you, a little way of creating amazing looking graphics with grids that you can also add information into, and also just a little bit on the frames that you can have in Canva and the different effect that you can create by adding a photo into the letter frames. So yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed that. I hope that has been of interest to you. If it has, please make sure you follow my YouTube channel because I have got some great plans for different videos in the future. So yeah, for now, I shall say, see you later.